Hello Year 5, I hope you like listening to some of that music played on those Victorian gadgets. I've got a, a copy of your sheet here, uh, so I'm going to just talk you through some of those things that you listen to. Now the first one you listen to was a music box. I wonder if any of you have got a music box. Perhaps some of you girls have got ones where you lift up and a little ballerina dances around. I used to have one of those. Um, and it's exactly the same mechanism that is used today as was used by the Victorians. And it's made by little pins, little bits of metal, a bit like a comb, little bits of metal on a comb, kicking against little prongs on a cylinder that goes round and round. It's fascinating. If you want to see how one works, or how, yeah, how it works when you're inside, I have put a link onto your um, assignment page. It's only a, a one minute video that just shows you how that happens. And I'm sure you've all seen little music boxes. You can buy them in in little gift shops if you go on holiday you normally get the little small ones and you turn the handle around and you can see those pins flitting against the metal and the second one you heard was the street piano there's the street piano that one there and as you can see it's it's a big instrument put out on wheels so it can be wheeled out and moved around sometimes you saw them in fairgrounds or on street corners and it's exactly the same concept as the music box. You've got a cylinder inside and someone turns the handle on the outside and it plays the tune. Obviously each cylinder with all the little prongs on it has a different tune. So you have to change the cylinder. You have a lot of different cylinders and you could slip, slip in to the piano and it was turned by someone, normally a gentleman who owned the piano, would stand there and turn the handle and uh, people would sing along to the familiar tunes. The third sound you heard was the penny in the slot piano, which is at the bottom of your sheet. And that's exactly the same. I mean, rather than someone turning the handle, you put a penny in. You can often see them on, on if you go to an old fashioned pier, um, you've got penny slot machines. And uh, you put your penny in, and all sorts of weird and wonderful things happen. And in this case, it played the tune. There was a spring and a penny going in, released the spring, and so the cylinder turned round and played the tune. The fourth uh, sound that you heard was a player piano. That was this one. And you can see it's got pedals on the bottom, and that was played by someone pumping their pedals with their feet. It was quite hard work. And inside, can you see, if you look at the picture inside, it's like a big roll. It's exactly what it was. It was a roll of paper with punched holes on it. And when the player pedaled, it caused air, it was like bellows, and it pumped air up into the piano, and it pushed air through the holes in the music, through the cylinder behind the hole, and it made the keys work. And it was, people were fascinated by it because the keys were working on the piano as if someone was playing it, but nobody was touching it. Now these days, you often see them. You often see them in very posh shops, or you see them at airports. You see the, the keys going and no one playing. Obviously, that's all computerised these days. But the Victorians found a way of doing it by using air being pedalled up inside the piano. The last sound you heard was one of the very early record players. Now, I don't know if you've got a record player at home. I have, and I've got a few old records. I'm sure if you ask your parents, they've probably got some records somewhere. They're making a big comeback, so they may have some modern records rather than some old ones. But this phonograph that's on here was just an amazing invention. Suddenly, people could hear music in their homes that wasn't over the radio it was something they could choose to put on they put a record on they weren't quite the same as records we have today again it was very much holes and the, the um, a little needle making the sound through the holes in the record so and that didn't that wasn't invented until early in the 20th century the very first one was invented by thomas edison in 1903 they didn't really become everyday use in homes until about 1912. And again, you can see the handle which you had to turn 
um, before they became plugged in, you had to plug them in. You had to turn the record, so you had to make sure you turned it at the right speed, otherwise you got a very fast tune or a very slow tune. So they're just a few of, well, they are the gadgets that the um, Victorians invented uh, to make music. Victorians loved music. They loved going to shows. They loved going to music halls. They loved going to the theatre. And we're going to be having a look at a little bit more of the different sorts of music that they listen to over the next few weeks. Next week, I'm going to try and um, have a song for you. So it's assessment week, so I'll have a song for you to listen to and, and try and learn. And then we'll look at a couple of the composers of the Victorian era before we go on to look at Tudor music after our term. So I hope you're going to enjoy a little look into Victorian music. Lots of our songs that we sing nowadays, lots of our hymns that we sing, were written in Victorian times. Um, and we'll try and learn a few of those as well. Lots of exciting things to do in Victorian music. So I hope you've had fun today. Um, I'll see you next week.